Planet Dolan. From a woman stabbing a voodoo doll to a man publicly shaving his pubic hair, the Dolan crew reenact more true stories from our subreddit about the weirdest things seen on a train. I'm Danger Dolan's mysterious brother, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 10 was submitted by Nancy Longhair. One time Shima caught a train home from university. She took a seat across from a sweet looking old lady. The woman smiled at her and Shima smiled back. Time passed and Shima noticed the woman had her hand hidden inside her bag. The old woman slowly took out an old fashioned doll that had glass eyes and looked a bit like Shima. Suddenly, the old woman looked at Shima and grasped her doll tightly. Shima instantly felt a tight sensation around her throat like she was being choked. The old woman continued and was soon outright strangling the doll. Shima couldn't breathe. She stood up, walked to the door and jumped off at the next stop, even though she wasn't home yet. The feeling went away as soon as she stepped off the train. Number 9 was submitted by Vodges. One day, Emoji caught the morning train into town. His carriage was quiet and everything was normal until a teenage busker boarded. The busker started playing some loud electro dubstep music and asked for donations. No one in the carriage seemed interested except for a very conservative looking old Indian woman. Emoji watched the woman start bopping her head to the music. She eventually got so into it that she got down on the ground and started break dancing. It was the strangest thing Emoji ever saw. Number 8 was submitted by Duncan McDougall 1999. This one time Melissa was in Scotland catching the last train of the night. The only people on board were a guy at the back of the carriage and a kid seated about three rows ahead of him. The kid looked about seven or eight and even though they weren't sitting together, Melissa assumed the guy was his dad. As Melissa went to take a seat, she noticed the guy at the back had his pants halfway down. Upon closer inspection, she saw that he was shaving his pubic hair with a razor and had flicked a pile of his curly hairs onto the floor. Melissa couldn't believe what she was seeing. She thought about protecting the kid from this weirdo, but they were talking like they knew each other. Melissa decided to say nothing, and as the guy rose to get off at his stop, he turned to Melissa and said, Good night. Number 7 was submitted by HollyTrue172. This one time Robo went to the zoo to see the animals. While there, he decided to take a ride on the little kitty train that went around to all the grounds. It was a windy day and all the kids on board were having fun sticking their heads out the window. However, Robo noticed that one kid at the front looked a bit queasy, like he couldn't handle the motion. Robo watched him stick his head out the window and start barfing. Because it was so windy, the kid's vomit ended up flying back into the hair and faces of all the other kids poking their heads out. Number 6 was submitted by Harambe the Savage. Hellbent took a vacation to Boston and decided to travel on the subway. He was listening to some music when a guy suddenly sat down across from him. There weren't many seats free so Hellbent shrugged it off. Hellbent then got off the train and took a tour of Fenway. While getting something to eat, he noticed the guy from the train was sitting nearby watching him. Hellbent was a little creeped out, but he went and saw a street band and later went to a photo booth. Sure enough, the creepy guy followed him to those places too. He was there wherever Hellbent went, watching him from afar. Hellbent was really freaked out and jumped on the next train seconds before it departed. He sat down, looked around for the guy and breathed a sigh of relief because he'd lost him. A minute later, the guy somehow appeared and took a seat across from Hellbent. Hellbent freaked the fuck out and jumped off the train at the next stop. He ended up spending three hours in the Boston Brewery just to lose him. Number 5 was submitted by Onyx Carnation. One day Doopy was riding the train from Pittsburgh to Johnstown. As she went to buy something from a nearby food car, she noticed a woman making jerky movements and scratching herself. Doopy approached her and said, Are you okay ma'am? The woman hissed at her and started talking to her invisible friends. Doopy backed off. With everyone staring at her, the woman took out a crack pipe and started smoking it like it was the most normal thing in the world. A staff member came to escort her off the train, but the woman snapped and tried to fight back. The woman was pinned down until they arrived at the next stop, where she was arrested by police. Doobie and the other passengers just looked at each other dumbfounded. Number 4 was submitted by Tiny Little Kitty. Andy was riding in an old train with her boyfriend at the time. It was a quiet, ordinary journey until the train suddenly stopped and a group of armed military men came bursting in. The military men held Andy and her boyfriend up at gunpoint, then did the same to everyone else in the carriage. 
They demanded to see everyone's ID and eventually moved along once they were satisfied. Andy watched them move down the carriage and detain a group of young guns who had no doubt done something really bad. She was terrified at the time, but now finds it funny. Number three was submitted by Waffles of Life. When Pringle was little, he went on a school trip with seven other kids. After a few hours on the train, he got really bored and started looking out the window. After 10 minutes of boring scenery, Pringle was horrified to see two people doing it in the middle of a public beach. The strange part was that they were wearing bizarre animal costumes. The guy was dressed as a blue cat and was using his dick to slap someone in a pink dog costume. Pringle didn't tell anyone because he didn't think they'd believe him. He just quietly shut the window and kept his mouth shut. Needless to say, it scarred him for life. Sorry for the interruption, but I'm afraid somebody lost the script for number two. So instead, here's an image of the artist giving me a right to work. Now back to the stories. Number one was submitted by me. I love the train. I reckon you can get a story out of pretty much any train ride. I've seen people get mugged. I've seen people taking drugs, filling each other up. I've seen all sorts of ridiculous things. Just this week, I saw someone talking about how because it was a nice day outside, it was probably Guan Yin, the goddess of mercy, smiling down on us, telling us our day would be good. Trains are ridiculous. They are the best. A huge thanks to the folks over on our Planet Dolan subreddit for submitting their stories. We have another question for you. What's your best party trick? Let us know in the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Well, that's it for this countdown, but catch you guys next time. Staring at him. It got creepy real quickly, so we told him to stop. But the dog just kept staring. So he tried to scare him off. But that just made him mad. And suddenly, he bit down so hard on Nixium's big toe